Today, I'm going to be building Target and Boxberg with the help of two of my subscribers. So this was a very highly requested video on my channel. So I requested that some of you were threatening to unsubscribe from my channel if I didn't build a Target. So this is for you, Claire875. I always get what I want. As you can see behind me, we have a little exterior of the Target already, and I'll actually be inviting all of my subscribers to come to the opening. If you guys want to participate in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. And as you can see from my daily October outfit, I am just as Lucifer Morning. Style. Okay, so these are the two subscribers that are going to be helping me build the target. We have Hugh Hurex. Hugh, I'm just gonna say cute wolf. I'm struggling to pronounce your name. Spooky me try girl. Now I need glasses because I cannot pronounce these names. And then over here we have my cute little cat. I love how we have like a beautiful exterior and then you go inside. You guys wanna know what's inside? Absolutely nothing. It is empty in here. Oh well, someone just placed down a floor. Okay. As you can see, the target is very big. We're gonna be making this two story as well. While they focus on the inside, I think I'm gonna go finish up the outside of the target i don't know why this was such a requested video on my channel like we've got target in australia but like i always just go to kmart i'm confused i'm confused right now g so as you can see from the outside we do have a little parking space at the front here and we're actually going to be very extra and have an underground parking lot as well so what's better than one parking lot two parking lots that's better than one cover girl two cover girls Oh, Herex just said I need your videos to focus. Oh, I feel like if you were watching my videos, I feel like they would distract you more. You know what helps me focus? That's like one hour of rain footage. I don't know why, but they help me focus. I'm actually so excited to see what you guys come up with with this Target. Every time I think of Target, I just think of these back to school vlogs. I literally had to Google what is inside of a Target because I didn't know. <laughs> or I just thought clothes were in Targets, but apparently there's like food. I'm like, wait, what? I just thought they sell clothes. Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Actually, you know what I need? to add before anything doors and windows here x and spooky are probably on the inside like um alaska where are the doors right now while i'm waiting for your response are you just not gonna say anything we're gonna have two massive commercial doors and the rest of it is going to be windows kind of like what we done with the apple store yesterday if you didn't watch yesterday's video we built an apple store in blocksburg and the front was like really nice because the entire thing was made out of windows and you could literally see like right in so we're just gonna do the same thing except add them to our target the only thing that's bothering me though is the doors don't match up to the windows and there's this like massive gap here. I hate it. Now we need to copy this and add it in this section because if you go into a target, you've got to go for like two sections of doors. It's really confusing. And then they have like all the trolleys and that stacked here. So they're doing such a good job on the inside. Stop. I don't know who's working on what, but these cashier registers are so cute. They look so interactive as well. Like you've even got stuff in the bag. Oh, I reckon the second story is going to be something like this. Oh my God, this is looking so creepy right now. Stop. Why is this looking like something out of the back rooms? <laughs> And then instead of like regular stairs, where are the stairs? Okay, where are the stairs? Where, they're right there. Instead of stairs, we're just gonna have excavator, excavator, excavator. I don't know why I just struggle to say that so much. I reckon we can have like two excavators, one of these weird looking trolley ramps in the middle. I don't know how we're gonna do this though. Actually, it's pretty simple. You just add a ramp and then just like resize it. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to make things so complicated for myself, but you know, always wanted to slide down one of these things as a kid. They just look like so fun. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Zom, now that we've got the ramp in the middle, I'm just gonna let them finish up the inside. I need to get back out here and finish the outside because right now it's looking like trash. And literally in a couple of hours, I'm gonna be inviting you guys onto the target. So this has to be done. So this long section here is where we're gonna have the target logo. Okay, boom. Ricky Dicky, two dog rhymes. Boom, shakalaka. We have our target logo. Oh my god, Herex said, shall I add a little Halloween aisle? Oh my god, that is actually so smart. So we're gonna have the target logo right in the middle there. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. I don't know if you guys remember Liza Koshi. She used to do like target vlogs all the time. And for some reason, I was literally so obsessed with them. What up? It's your girl Liza. I'm coming at you. We can have red flowers because, well, Target. And because this is Halloween, we can even have some Halloween decorations. There's also those YouTubers that were like, oh my god, 24 hours in Kmart. Target. I meant Target. Anyway, do you guys remember those YouTubers that were like 24 hours in Target hiding in a box? I would believe them. I would be like, oh my god. 10 year old me was like, oh my gosh, I hope they don't get caught. And now I think back at it, I'm like, you lying. You cannot be for real. Oh my god, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. Oh, I forgot to place a basement underneath here because this is going to obviously be a parking spot that no one is going to use. I bet you no one uses this. 
I mean, hey, this is always a good getaway. If things get too chaotic in the target, I mean, I can always hide under here. I will just add little parking lines and literally that is it for our underground parking. I don't want to focus too much on this because not many people are going to be down there. But I did check up on them in like two minutes and they've already got these little barricades. And I'm pretty sure one of them added like trash bins at the side. That is so cool. What is going on with the door? Please don't tell me they're not work. Oh, don't tell me they're not working. These ones work. Um, these ones do not work. It's fine. I just replaced them with commercial sliding doors and then boom. Boom. So breezy. <laughs> Now we need somewhere to collect all of our trolleys. And now that I think of it, the commercial sliding doors don't actually make sense. So we might just have to use tall glass double doors instead. I used to get in trouble because as a kid, I would ride in them all the time. Man, I finna witness. <laughs> employees were like, I don't care if you're a child, you can't ride in the trolleys. And I'm like, um, since when? Since oh, when? I don't know how we're gonna do these trolleys though. Wait, unless we use these, hold on. If we just place it at the back here, I mean, we could totally use these as trolleys. All I need to do is like stack them up like this. I mean, you know what? That kind of works. Oh my God, do you guys remember when I used to use strollers as trolleys? I would literally place like a bunch of these little strollers and these used to be my trolleys. Oh, sorry, shopping carts? Everyone yelled at me because I called trolleys shopping carts. <laughs> Okay, so I'd say the outside is complete. So now I can help you guys finish the inside. We've got some cash registers, refrigerators. They have like a little Halloween section here. Oh, this is like the back bit of the target. So you know what? I'm going to add a few changing rooms. I don't know why, but I have like the worst fear of changing rooms. I like that someone just like watching you through the mirror. Like I've seen way too many horror movies. Oh, the changing rooms is actually the perfect place to add my little hook rack build hack. Oh, damn. Did you hear that rhyme? Hook rack build hack. Damn. I actually don't remember the last time I... I went into a shop and like picked something out. When it comes to shopping, I'm just like, oh, I'll just do it online. I went to the store the other day and it was like so empty. Like the only people in there was like the workers. Crickets. These changing rooms are so cute, by the way. They're all gonna have little plants with a little bench underneath. I honestly love having you guys on building with me. Love seeing like the cool creative ideas that you guys come up with that I wouldn't think of originally. Y'all, Anne's just said I'm on mobile. I literally cannot go mobile. So many of you guys are asking me as well to attempt to build a house on mobile and trust me, I want to. I'm definitely planning on it. I'm just waiting for like my new phone to come. Let's be for real. I cannot do it on my crusty dusty iPhone 11. <laughs> so once my new phone comes, I will build a house on iPhone. Now to make these actual working fitting rooms, what I'm going to do is add a clear window frame and then adding plain curtains on the front. So then they actually work and you can open and close them. And you know what? Considering the fitting rooms are here, I think it's best to add the clothing section on the opposite side. And if you go into any target, all the clothes will be on a carpet. And this is because in a target, everything is made out of tiles. So when you look at the carpet, you're like, oh my gosh, that looks comfortable. Let's go over to the carpet. Then you link the clothes to comfort. And it's just like one big marketing strategy for people to buy more clothes. So over in this section we can have all of our shirts oh, wait i just thought of something for the jeans oh my god we're gonna have two basic shapes on top of each other and then if we go into towels and stack towels we can stack these towels on top of it and we can have like different color jeans see genius yes yes i am and then obviously we cannot forget price tag forget about the price tag what else can we use for clothing storage? Maybe these ladder shelves? Mate, this Target is gonna make me go broke. Oh, we're about to enter summer. So maybe these can be like summer clothes. Oh my God, you know what we also need? Mannequins. I just do not know how to build a mannequin. <laughs> but I mean, we do have skeletons. These count, right? And you know what, in Target, they usually have the mannequins on a stool. Oh my God, so we can give them little slippers. Right now, the mannequin is naked, babe. So we're gonna have a little vertical cylinder and make this like a little dress. Oh, you thought I was done dressing the skeleton? No, I'm not done. Herix just says, oh my God, the mannequin is slaying. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's a pretty sexy looking skeleton. And we can also have some end tables in the middle here with some more towels. And I want these clothes to be like stacked up on each other. So all I'm going to do is add a horizontal plank on top of the pillar. And then you can just copy these clothes and add them on the second shelf. Target always uses these round ceiling lamps. Not even kidding. Watch me type up Target and they have these exact lamps. See? Boom. Target has these lamps. Boom. All right, so we've got all the clothing sections done. Whoever added the chandelier at the front here, I feel like I'm going to knock my head in this. So I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. I think we can add the makeup section right here. And I mean, the good thing for us is that Bloxberg added a bunch of makeup products. The makeup sections in Target, they usually look like this. I reckon if we add like a glass shelf, that could be really cool. One thing with makeup in Bloxberg is that it's also so expensive. Like these little tiny flower glitter effects makeup things are like $130. 30,000. Okay, we can have the makeup here 
here and then maybe on this section we can have perfume. Well, I mean, technically this can be like the beauty section, not just the makeup section. Oh, I reckon our nail polishes can go here. Oh, and we can't forget the mirrors. You guys should have just seen what I done. It was so cringe. Just like put my hand up like, oh, can't forget that. That was very cringe. Anyway, we'll mirror back here so you can just test out the product. Do you ever go to Target and there's like someone getting their makeup done? I don't know why, but I would absolutely hate that. I just feel like everyone would be staring at me. Like, why are we not using these bookcases as storage units? Wait, like, these come in handy so good. Considering this is the beauty section, maybe we can have some jewelry up here. Maybe some deodorant so people don't smell. Oh, you nasty. Why do I have a feeling there's gonna be one person that's just gonna like go around and steal all of this stuff? <laughs> I wonder if anyone's working on the upstairs bit. Whoa, okay. I just checked upstairs and I don't know who done this. We have a huge section up here. That is crazy. I don't know who added a parking space at the back here. That is so cool. And I'm pretty sure Target also has like food as well. A few Targets. I'm not sure. Target I have where I live do not have food. But um, so I guess like what's the harm in adding a little fruit and vegetable section of the Target? Eat your vegetables. We have been building so long. My stomach is really mad at me. I looked up what foods Target have and this is what came up. Apparently some Targets have a full grocery store in them, which we will not be adding, but I guess we can just add like two hours of food. Actually, now that I think of it, where's the floor on the second story? <laughs> Anyway, after all these updates that Bloxburg has added to the game, you'd think they'd add more groceries. This is literally the only groceries we have in the game. Also, yeah, we can put the peanut butter next to the jelly. I personally hate peanut butter and jelly. I remember trying it once in a video and I literally gagged. Do you guys remember that? Also, I'm making all the groceries kind of like a little bit messy because let's be honest, if you go into a Target, all of the groceries are kind of a little bit messy. And you know what? The milk can be out. Who cares? This can be lactose-free milk, okay? I think that's everything downstairs. All right, so while Herex and Spooky finish the upstairs bit of the Target, I think I'm just going to finish these shelves at the back and I want to add a book section. Wait, Paris just goes, there's no food area in this Target. More Targets have like Starbucks or something in there. <laughs> Mate, I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing! I think the last thing I gotta do really is just like the book section. Okay, so the book section of the Target's done. So I'm gonna let you guys finish up the upstairs area before I'm finding you guys into my Target. And just like that, our Target is all complete and comes to a total of $500,000. As you can see, this is how the outside of the Target turned out. I'm honestly so impressed with how the outside turned out. I love it. They honestly done such a good job on the outside. And what's even better is what's on the inside. So when we come in through these doors, everyone will be walking in they can quickly just grab a little trolley and you know what I'm a bit of an idiot because we actually have got backpacks like if you have backpacks you can literally just go down here and grab a shopping cart I didn't know this so I wasted like $20,000 on shopping carts when I could have just used actual carts from my backpack so then if we walk inside of our target the first thing we have is obviously the clothing section which is all the way over here I think the clothing section is my favorite bit especially these cute little skeletons and like the jeans and the changing room so let's see if this works you can actually oh it does yeah so if someone is in the changing room they can actually open and close the curtain for some privacy and then we have alaska violet's return center the av way this is where you obviously well return your clothes and then we have all the aisles over here so we've got our book aisle our home decor aisle and our halloween aisle and then to the left of the target we have our checkouts pretty sure either spooky or herex done this little section and then finally a few more food options and then the last thing we have downstairs is obviously the toilet we come in here we have whoa jesus that scared me Day, we've got all of our toilets in here and then we have the second floor to the target so I quickly built a little back to school center for all of these students as you can see I added a few backpacks clothes books everything you kind of need to like go back to school and then we have our little furniture section and then on the opposite end here we have the electronic center so this is obviously where we sell all our computers and um oh my gosh Whoa, Gordon Ramsay, calm down. Oh my god. Someone's gone a bit cray cray. So yeah, we have all of our iPhones, everything we need really. So now it is time to invite you guys into my target. All my days, we already have a bunch of people joining the server. We've already got people waiting to come in. Let me in, please. Okay, where is the getaway system again? Because... Um, you are aware we do have excavators for a reason, right? Apparently we have a getaway system. Oh my gosh, what? What is this? Apparently we have like a whole upstairs getaway system. Oh, okay. And then up here we have our bikes. Gotcha. Okay, well that's good to know. Just in case the target gets a little bit too hectic, we have a little getaway system. But hopefully, hopefully we'll not have to use that. <gasps> oh my god, who opened the doors? Who opened the doors? No, wait, you guys are not meant to be in here. Yeah, I'm not even ready. Y'all, I did not open these doors. Okay. Um, 
Please don't steal anything. Let me in, please. Guys, you have to behave in an orderly manner, please. Please don't steal anything. I've worked very hard on this. Where's your manager? Um, I'm just gonna back away. Y'all, this target has actually gone out of control. Like, it's- what? I'm sorry, why is there a person on a moped on my roof right now? Okay, girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! I don't know how, but there's literally, like, multiple people that have, like, broken onto the roof and got on my bikes. Um, whose child is that? Okay, there's a few people checking out the electronic center. Oh, there's someone at my return center. Can I return? Oh, <laughs> Uh, I can understand why you need to return. Unfortunately, there is no returns on makeup. Bark, bark, bark. Oh my god. Okay, don't bark at me, Missy. Oh, she's running out of my store. No, get back here. Yeah, I can't, I can't do this anymore. It's too stressful. Alaska, where's the cheese? We don't even sell cheese. Yeah, I can't do this. There's people dancing on my food aisle. Okay, you know what? I, I did not want to resort myself to this solution, but I, I don't think I have a choice. I'm using the escape route to get out of here. As much as I, um, wanted to have a happy time target opening. I can't take the pressure of owning a target. It is too scary. I don't know. I just don't think this is like great for me. I don't want to do it. Anyway guys, that was me building Target in Bloxburg and inviting you guys to the opening. Jokes aside, I think this Target actually turned out really good. And surprisingly, there was actually people going shopping and ordering everything they need from the Target. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!